So today I'm talking about a P0089 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0089 code? Well, it's a fuel pressure regulator performance. And what does this mean? Well, basically the fuel injectors need the correct fuel pressure going to them so they can eject fuel into the cylinders. And so up at the top of the engine, there's gonna be a fuel rail that's supplying fuel to the fuel injectors. And there should be the correct pressure up here at the fuel rail. And if there's not, this could cause issues. If it gets really off, it could cause the engine to run badly. And for some reason, the computer's seeing that this isn't correct, that there's some kind of issue going on with the fuel pressure. And so it's gonna have to be troubleshooting a why. And one thing to note about this is that there can be different types of systems going on with the fuel pressure up at the fuel rail. Older vehicles by far only had one fuel pump, but many modern vehicles nowadays, they have what's called a GDI engine, where you're gonna have two fuel pumps. You're gonna have a low pressure fuel pump inside of the gas tank, and then you're gonna have a high pressure fuel pump up at the engine. And what's going on inside of these systems can vary. They can be different. And so if you do go to work on your vehicle, the first thing to do is be sure to get a diagram for your specific vehicle, for your engine, to know for sure what's going on with it, where all the sensors are located, what's going on with the fuel pump or fuel pumps, and things along these lines, because there can be differences depending on the vehicle on what's going on. And so what are some possible causes of a P0089 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of blockage going on inside the line. And this is going to be like a clogged up fuel filter or a restricted fuel line or something like this. So you can go check the fuel filter. You can replace it. Again, depending on the vehicle, this is all going to be different on how it's laid out and what's going on. But the first thing that could cause this is a clogged up fuel filter or a restricted fuel line. The next thing that could cause this is a bad fuel pressure regulator, sometimes called a pressure control valve. It might have just gone bad. It just needed to be replaced. There's also going to be wires going to it. And keep in mind, if anything's wrong with the wiring going to it, if there's an open, a short, there's some kind of bad connection, then that's going to cause the same symptoms as a fuel pressure regulator. But the next thing that could cause this is a bad fuel pressure regulator. And the next thing on the list is going to be a bad fuel pump. There might be some kind of issue going on with the fuel pump or fuel pumps, depending on what kind of system you have. And it's just not putting out the right pressure like it should be. If you have a GDI system, you're going to have a fuel pump that's inside of the gas tank. And then you're also going to have a fuel pump up at the engine that's being operated by the cam. And this is called a high pressure fuel pump. And basically, if there's any kind of issues with one of these, if they're not putting out the correct pressure or something like that, then that's going to cause problems. And so the next thing on the list is going to be a bad fuel pump. And the last thing on the list is going to be a bad fuel pressure sensor. That fuel pressure sensor might have just gone bad and be reporting bad information back to the computer. So the computer just thinks there's a problem when there isn't. Again, depending on the system, there can be differences on what's going on with these fuel pressure sensors. There can be a low fuel pressure sensor, a high fuel pressure sensor, a fuel rail pressure sensor. So just keep in mind, there can be one sensor or there can be multiple ones. But the last thing on the list is going to be a bad fuel pressure sensor. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0089 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.